Wisconsin men's tennis has a really proud history and it's a program that has we've had for many, many, many decades. Uh, and there's a, been a great lineage of all Americans and all Big Ten players that have come through here. And Madison itself is a really big tennis community, even though right now, this time of year, there's snow outside and that's why we come indoors to Nielsen Tennis Stadium. I played here way back when, uh, graduating in 02, so uh, extremely special for, for me personally to, to be able to come and coach at my alma mater. Uh, played a lot, of, a lot of hopefully tough matches here and, and hopefully some good ones uh, that I remember, some bad ones. And uh, so a lot, of, a lot of good and bad memories, but uh, the best part was being with my teammates and, and having that experience now with these guys, uh, you know, trying to keep them together and, and have a great experience here for, uh, for their four years. You know, uh, one of my lasting memories was, uh, you know, my se senior day. Um, it happened to be a loss for me that clinched the match for Minnesota 4-3 against, uh, at the time, the number one guy in the country, and it was a pretty critical moment. But uh, you know, it, it just shows the the losses are also can be very special. Just the the energy of the building and our last home match uh, that was really a college tennis experience for all of us. So Nielsen Tennis Stadium is a facility that's over 50 years old now, but it's really aged well. And some of that is due to the upgrades that have been made in recent years. They've recently installed new LED lights and a scoreboard and a good sound system, PA system, resurfaced the courts in the last few years. All of these things to keep this one of the best indoor facilities in the entire United States. And that's a big reason why the ITA comes here to play some of their championships. In fact, the first six ITA championships on the men's side were played right here in Nielsen. And so it's great to have this tournament back in our community and in the place where it started. You know, anybody that's played college tennis in the late 70s, uh, you know, definitely w was in this building. And uh, you know, on the women's side, they had the, the women's team indoor here for 20, 20 something years, maybe in a row. So uh, every top players played here, played a couple of tough matches and, and played for a national championship.